Jason, 11 members of the ABC comedy team have been charged with breaching an apex zone and face up to six months in jail. They'll be appearing in court next month. This morning, the chief chaser was back at work, but this time he was being chased. Well, did, did you endanger anybody? You sure? Last night, eight cast and crew and three hire car drivers were released from police custody. The group of 11 was charged over yesterday's fake motorcade through Sydney's CBD. Police say more charges could follow. In this excerpt from the program, the prank Canadian motorcade slips through the outer ring of the apex zone. The comedians were shot. Police did not stop them. Everything about the money came to look to properly a sick joke. Right down to fake identification. But today the New South Wales Police Commissioner was not laughing. I'm angry, I'm very angry that this, this stunt happened. It was a dangerous stunt. He confirmed that Macquarie Street was still partially open to general traffic during yesterday's stunt. Even so, with the comedians just a block away from US President George W. Bush, he said they could have been shot. Now we had snipers deployed around the city. And they weren't there for show. The incident has made world headlines. And one of the infiltrators, get this, was dressed like Osama bin Laden. But the ABC is defending the group. It said the motorcade proceeded down Macquarie Street with the permission of police. And they were only detained when comedian Chaz Licciadello emerged from the car. Was it irresponsible? I wouldn't think so. Hard to say. No, no, we had no intention of harming anyone. <laughs> this is the sort of treatment that, you know, only the chaser would do. This is just irresponsible. Seriously, though, was there a, was there a concern that someone might have overreacted and, uh, because they're pretty jumpy? Were you worried about that? Uh, no, no. Lucky it was us, not Al-Qaeda. Late this afternoon,